Now in this lesson, we're going to focus on solving rational equations. So let's start with our first example. 5 over 8 minus 3 over 5. And let's set that equal to x over 10. What do we need to do in order to find the value of x? What would you do? The best thing we can do is clear away all fractions. We have an 8, a 5, and a 10. What is the least common multiple of 8, 5, and 10? Well, we can make a list. Multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, and so forth. Multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, and 40. Multiples of 10 also include 40. So 40 is the least common multiple. Let's multiply every fraction by 40. So what's 5 over 8 times 40? You can do 5 times 40, which is 200, and then divide 200 by 8. Or you can do 40 divided by 8, which is 5, times the 5 on top, and that's going to be 25. Now what about 3 fifths of 40? 40 divided by 5 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. And the last one, 40 divided by 10 is 4 times x. That's 4x. 25 minus 24 is 1. And so x is equal to 1 fourth. So that's the answer. Here's the next problem. x plus 8 over x is equal to 6. Feel free to pause the video and work on this example. So what we're going to do in this problem, we're going to multiply both sides by x. So x times x is x squared, and then 8 over x times x. The x variables will cancel. It's just going to be 8, and 6 times x is 6x. Now let's move the 6x from the right side to the left side. On the right side, it's positive 6x, but on the left side, it's going to be negative. Now we can factor it. What two numbers multiply to 8 but add up to negative 6? This is negative 4 and 2. So it's x minus 4 times x minus 2. And so we can clearly see that x is equal to positive 4 and positive 2. And so that's it. Here's the next one. x plus 3 divided by x minus 3, let's say that's equal to 12 over 3. Whenever you have two fractions separated by an equal sign, what you want to do is you want to cross multiply. So 12 times x minus 3 is 12x minus 36. And 3 times x plus 3, that's 3x plus 9. Now let's subtract both sides by 3x. And let's add 36 to both sides. 12x minus 3x is 9x. 9 plus 36 is 45. And 45 divided by 9 is 5. So x is equal to 5. Try this one. 9 divided by x is x over 4. So once again, we have two fractions separated by an equal sign. Let's cross multiply. x times x is x squared. And 9 times 4 is 36. So all we need to do is take the square root of both sides. The square root of 36 is plus or minus 6. So there's two answers, positive 6 and negative 6. Now what about this one? 4 divided by x minus 3. And let's say that's equal to 9 over x plus 2. So for this problem as well, cross multiply. So 4 times x plus 2, that's 4x plus 8. And then 9 times x minus 3, that's 9x minus 27. So let's subtract both sides by 4x. And let's add 28, I mean, not 28, but rather 27 to both sides. Eight plus 27, that's 35. Nine minus four is five. 
So all we need to do now is divide by 5. 35 divided by 5 is 7. So x is equal to 7. Now let's say that we have x plus 2 divided by 3 plus 4. And let's say that's equal to x plus 9 divided by 2. Find the value of x. The least common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. So let's multiply everything by 6 to get rid of the fractions. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now let's multiply 2 by x plus 2, and that's going to be 2x plus 4. Now 4 times 6 is 24. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 3 times x plus 9, that's going to be 3x plus 27. So now let's combine 4 and 24, which is 28. Now let's subtract both sides by 2x and also by 27. Twenty eight minus twenty seven is one. Three x minus two x is x. So therefore x is equal to one. Here's the next problem. Four divided by x plus eight divided by x plus two. Let's set that equal to four. Find the value of x. So in this case the common denominator is x times x plus two. If we multiply 4 over x by x, x plus 2, the x variables will cancel. And so that's going to leave behind 4 times x plus 2, which if we distribute 4, it's going to be 4x plus 8. Now, x plus 2 will cancel, leaving behind x times 8, or simply 8x. And then here we'll have 4 times x times x plus 2 which is 4x, x plus 2. Now we can add 4x and 8x. That's going to be 12x. And now let's distribute the 4x. 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times 2 is 8x. Everything on the left side, let's move it to the right side. So instead of having positive 12x on the left side, it's going to be negative 12x on the right side. And 8 is going to change to negative 8. Now let's combine like terms. 8x minus 12x is negative 4x. So now what we need to do is factor. We can take out a 4. And this will leave us with x squared minus x instead of plus x minus 2. Now two numbers that multiply to negative 2 but add to negative 1 is going to be a negative 2 and positive 1. So it's going to be x minus 2 times x plus 1. So if we set each factor equal to 0, we can see that x is equal to 2 and x is equal to negative 1. And so that's going to be the answer to the problem. Now let's try the last example. 5, or rather, I'll take that back, not 5, x over x plus 5 minus 5 over x minus 5. And let's say that's equal to 14 over x squared minus 25. Go ahead and find the value of x. Now what we should do first is factor x squared minus 25. And that's going to be x plus 5 times x minus 5. Now we need to clear away all fractions. So let's multiply the top, well, let's multiply both sides, the left side and the right side, by x plus 5 times x minus 5, the common denominator. So if we take this fraction and multiply it by these two, we can see that x plus 5 will cancel, leaving behind x times x minus 5. Now if we take the second fraction and multiply it by those two, the x minus 5 term will cancel, leaving behind 5 times x plus 5.
and then x plus 5 will cancel and x minus 5 will cancel, leaving 14. So now let's distribute x times x minus 5. That's x squared minus 5x. And if we distribute the negative 5, it's going to be negative 5x minus 25. Now let's subtract both sides by 14, and let's combine like terms. Negative 5x and negative 5x, that's negative 10x. Negative 25 minus 14, that's negative 39. What two numbers multiply to negative 39 but add to negative 10? I'm thinking of negative 13 and 3. So this is going to be x minus 13, x plus 3. So therefore, x is equal to 13 and negative 3.